What up, peeps? This your boy Glass. Let me hold it right. You're now watching the Smoke Swag channel. Thank you for watching. As you can tell with my attire, you know what time it is. Time to do some yard work. I'm about to cut this grass. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon, Friday morning. Almost afternoon. But yes, there's no pipe. This is a cigar. A nice hand rolled Nicaragua cigar. Now, like I said before, I can send myself a cigar aficionado. I like Nicarag Nicaraguans first, Dominican second, Honduras third. I really don't really care about Honduras. They're real, they're real peppery. Neither here nor there. I'm enjoying this hand rolled. Nic uh, no. This is Dominican. I'm sorry. This is Dominican cigar. Anyway, from uh, brick and mortar in in uh, in the neighborhood. But we're not here to talk about pipes. We're not here to talk about cigars. I'm here to tell a story. Shout out to Monty Fifty Three Piper, Tony. This ain't gonna match up to any of your classics, but it's a nice story nonetheless. I think you'll be amused by it. So let's proceed. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, see that? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that right there. That's evidence. Let me show you the culprits. Before I proceed, let me just let you know. Your boy was stuck on stupid. Monday, Memorial Day. Didn't use any kind of common sense. And I, if you know me, let me put my hat right. Hat right. You gotta get the hat right. Okay, if you know me, my definition of common sense is something that is priceless and free at the same time, and people do not use it when they're supposed to. I'm a victim of that. I have a college education. Just because you got a college education don't mean you have any common sense. We shall proceed. Sunday, Sunday afternoon, we were barbecuing. Dad came over around four o'clock. He enjoyed himself. Let's backtrack a little bit. Saturday, me and my wife bought an umbrella for the patio and a fire pit, a big old fire pit. Since the quarantine, there's a place we used to go in Aurora, Illinois where we shred our documents, shred papers, documents, junk mail, all that stuff. They closed and all my, all the stuff piled up. So, so when we bought the fire pit, I said, babe, this fire pit big enough. Why don't we just go ahead and burn the documents up in here and be done with it? She said, cool, we could do that. So proceeding fast forward to Sunday night, 7.30. That's what I did. Wife said, go ahead and start the fire pit. Threw all the paper up in there, threw logs in there, started a fire. Everything worked out fine. So we had the fire going till my dad left, which is like around one o'clock in the morning. Let me show you the culprit. Uh, let's see. Yeah. That's the fire pit right there. So, oh. Just to let you know, we walked around the north side of the house instead of the south side of the house because my wife is working in her office and I want to hear this story. You can tell where it's going. Hmm, good. So it was one o'clock in the morning. We're shutting everything down, putting everything up. And let me get you like that. There you go. And closed up for the night. Fast forward to Monday morning. Got up, ate breakfast, went in the back, went to the backyard to my sanctuary. Told my wife, meet me back there when you get dressed. Went back there. So before I sat down and enjoyed a pipe, I uh said, okay, let me dump out all the ashes 
out of the fire pit and I put it in a long bag. So, put it in the long bag, just dump it. When it wasn't hot or nothing like that, at least I thought it wasn't hot. Dump it in the long bag. Put the long bag here. Yeah, let's see. Right here in the garage. Next to my daughter's car that she bought in January before she moved in with us. She stayed in the city. When everything started jumping on, she moved back home. So the car was parked in the garage. I put the lawn bag over there in the corner of the garage. Went back to the backyard at 12 o'clock noon. Enjoy some jazz. Matter of fact, I think I did a video that, that day. I think I did. Enjoy. Yes, I did. The last two videos I did, I did it in the back. No, not the last two. The one on Memorial Day, I think it was. It was in the backyard. Anyway, let's, let's keep on continuing with the story. Go back in the backyard. Listen to some jazz. Drinking a Moscow Mule. Smoking a pipe. Fast forward from noon to 2 two o'clock p.m. My oldest one came to the back door said dad I'm about to go to the store do you need anything from the store I told her no and kept on enjoying my drink and my pipe no more than three minutes later I hear a scream dad it's a fire come quick so I jumped out the chair, run around the side of the building, side of the house rather, get to the get to the driveway, and a bag like this was in flames. I think yeah, here this here's the bag right here. You can see the ashes. I don't know if you can see them here, but yeah, there's the bag and there's the ashes. It was engulfed in flames. So I stomped it out with my foot. <laughs> yes. And I had sandals on. Another stuck on stupid idea. But anyway, it went out. She said, I came to the car, came to the garage, was going in the car. I said, what's that burning? She said she walked around to the back of the back of the car and seen the, seen the bag smoldering. So when she was calling me, was screaming, for, screaming my name for me to come forward, she picked up the bag and put it in the driveway. <laughs> where that spot is and she said once the air hit it it just went up I said I kept on thanking her praising her thanking her thanking her for doing what she did so she said well, dad what happened I said your dad was a stupid MF <laughs> she said so we looked at the we looked at the bag she looks up at me and says we're not going to tell mama, right? And my response was, I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs> so that's between, well, it was between me and her before I put it on this, on this uh, video. But I'm going to tell you the other stupid reason why I was stuck on stupid that day. Maybe because of the drinks. Because, like when I get done with this cigar, So, every time I get done with a cigar, I dump it into that soup cup. Soup. Yes. So, my dumb ass should have took the fire pit, the ashes from the fire pit, and dumped it down there. Instead of doing the stupid and putting it in a paper lawn bag. And that's 
the story of how your boy Glass was stuck on stupid and that did not use common sense. So Tony, there go your story. Hope you liked it. YTPC, hope I entertained you. <sighs> so, let me get back to my yard work so I can enjoy my weekend after I get off work tonight. This your boy Glass. You have watched the Smoke Swag channel. Thank you for watching, and as always, be good, be safe. Light them bolts or light them sticks, whatever you choose. Enjoy. Peace out. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Peace.